Mungu awabariki sana sana na aweze kuwainua kwa sababu ye ni mwaminifu. Nataka tufungue Bible in the book of John chapter number 1. John chapter number 1. John chapter number 1. Biblia inasema Yohana wa kwanza tutaanzia mstari wa kwanza inasema hapo mwanzo kulikuweko kulikuwa ko neno nalo neno lilikuwa ko kwa Mungu naye neno alikuwa Mungu huyo mwanzo alikuwe alikuwa ko kwa Mungu vyote vilifanyika kwa huyo wala pasipo yeye hakikufanyika chochote kilichofanyika ndani yake ndimo ulimokuwako uli uzima na ule uzima ulikuwa nuru ya watu naye nuru ya ngagizani wala giza haliku, haliku iweza. amen that is the word of god which is very pure katika maisha yetu ni biblia inasema in the beginning kulikuwa na neno na neno lilikuwa na, na Mungu tunaweza keti chini Le, leo nataka niongee kuhusu a uh, God's plan mpango wa Mungu ambia mwenzako mpango wa Mungu tuna celebrate the time we think Jesus was born but nobody has the exactly time Jesus was, the time Jesus was born but we are trying kupatia Yesu Kristo a birthday na kusema he was born na tuka choose 24th but tunataka tuangalie the plan of God katika maisha yetu The plan of God was to save us and to set us free. Hiyo ndiyo namba one ilikuwa mpango wa Mungu. Ilikuwa kutuokoa na kutuweka huru. Hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa mpango wa Mungu. Na Biblia inasema hapo mwanzo hakuna kitu kilifanyika katikati hapa chenye hakiku kuwa na Mungu. Kila kitu kilifuatia kufanyika kilikuwa katika mpango wa Mungu. Kwa hivyo usione ni kama wewe kujipata uko hai kama ni bahati mbaya. Kila kitu ambacho kimefanyika it was in the plans of God because inasema in the beginning kulikuweko na neno. So ilikuwa yote maneno hayo iko sasa Mungu alikuwa amebakia kuyapanga kulingana na vile anaiona katika maisha yetu na katika ulimwengu tulioko na one major thing Mungu alikuwa ana plan katika maisha yetu it was to save us and to set us free free from what free from sin tulikuwa to receive salvation salvation inaambatana na power ya Mungu katika maisha yetu because once ume receive salvation ume receive the power ya ku resist anything that can come and try to exalt itself against the will of god so once you have received salvation ukapokea salvation na ile salvation ulipoipokea ukapokea power alafu dhamiri yako ndani ikawaka ta ile ya mungu ikawaka ndani so you have that power sijui kama unajuanga you are a man you are a woman of power who can resist who can decide mwenye anaweza sema yes or no hiyo ndio number one. mungu alikuwa anataka hata mwanadamu apokee power ambia mwezako power you have the power uko na power ya kukataana na anything negative in your life Mujue hii dunia tunakaa kuna all things zenye zinakuja zina whisper to our lives zinatuambia do you know what you are nothing 
you have power to say you are something. You have power to say you are something. You are important. Bwana Yesu wa sifa. Bibili inasema in the beginning kulikuweko na neno. There was that word of God. So, Mungu hakuamka tu one morning ama one day. Alafu akasema I'm thinking. Bibili inasema in the beginning. Na hatujui ni wakati gani it, it, it began in the beginning that word of God ilikuwa alikuwa na that good plans that he has for us today today nataka ni ku encourage because tumebakisha like only let's say seven, uh, uh, seven days to usher the new year na ukiangalia maisha yako labda huoni kama uko kwa plan ya Mungu leo nataka ni kurudishe ni kuambie kile Mungu amepapas katika maisha yako haiwezi ponyoka wewe ambia mwenzako haiwezi ponyoka ita, 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 ita utaipokea na itafanyika he came to save us and to set us free na ndio maana when god was thinking on how atakuja duniani he was thinking about mankind he was thinking about salvation Hakuwa anaangalia to the cross and dying on the cross. Alikuwa anaangalia salvation and freedom. Na wakati Yesu alikuja in form, of, in form of a human being. Na akazaliwa na akakucha kwa hii dunia kulikuwa na agenda ya his birth. So, na ndio maana unaona enemy wakati Jesus alikuwa ameenda ku fast for 40 days and 40 nights alitemtiwa sana na wakati alikuwa anatoka mlimani still alikuwa anatemtiwa ndio aanguke ile papasi ya Mungu isiweze kusimama but he won aliweza kushinda kila jaribiwa nataka nikwambie nini he came to set us free na akatuokoa tuka receive power Power ya kufanya nini? Power ya kuongelelea situations zile zinaweza kuwa katika maisha yetu. Have you ever had a whisper yenye inakwambia you will remain desperate or poor the rest of your life? Na unaangalia situation unaona kama mahali uko ni hapo tu pamekushikilia ni kama hakuna uwezo mwingine mbele yako. Mbele yako kuna a very bright future. Mbele yako kuna big plans na mambo ujawaiona. Wacha mahali uko. Mahali uko ni kujishikilia umejishikilia. But you are going far. Another thing. The major step in God's plan. Ni lazima leo tujue ya kwamba. He can never be defeated. God will never be defeated. Sisi ndiyo tuneza kuwa defeated in our battlefield of our minds because tuna battle na the word of god but kama tunaweza shika the word of god tujue ya kwamba god he has never been defeated and he will never be defeated na sisi tujue ya kwamba sisi ni watoto wake ni kujua i will also i will not also be defeated in this life bwana yesu ape sifa Ile shida tunaweza kuwa nayo ni wakati hali haijakuendea kama ulivyotarajia. Na mujue kuna wakati tumepitia hali hazikuenda kama vile tulitarajia. But si kusema hakuna njia za Mungu katika maisha yetu. Sio kusema ati Mungu amepunguka katika maisha yetu. Sio kusema ati Mungu hako kazini katika maisha yetu. Do you know sometimes Wakati Biblia inasema in the beginning kwa hivyo inasema God worked very quietly to plan what he was about to perform. He never said anything because in the beginning in the beginning before anything was created he had that thought ya kwamba I will make a beautiful world. I will I will create a man through his own image. It was in his plan but alikuwa anaifanya tu. Sasa alipotokea akaanza kudeclare na akasema let there be. Ali declare what he had. 
Na before uende hii mwaka tunaenda lazima ukue na kitu una declare in your heart. Yes, it is impossible to man, but to God it is possible. Hallelujah. Sometimes we are unable to say because unaona this one cannot be. But with God it can be. Hallelujah. It can happen. Sasa unaona ya kwamba ai niseme, niseme hii ai hii nasemangwa mtu akiwa amejipanga hapana. In the beginning he has the word. Na sisi ni watoto wake, tutaiga nani? Si tutaiga huyu shujaa mkuu. Tutaiga huyu Mungu mkuu. Tutaiga huyu Mungu aliye na uwezo. I always tell myself because I always speak to myself. I will not go down. I will continue moving and arising one step at a time but no going down. Na hiyo ni kitu unafaa unajizungumzia. Unasema from the platform I am. I am not going down. I am going up. See yourself going up. Kwa sababu uko in the mind of God, uko in the plan, plans of God. In fact, amefanya kazi katika maisha yako. Amekufanyia kazi, ametuma savior. Amekutoa kwa bondage akakupatia free will ya ku decide what you want to do, where you want to be. Amekupatia uwezo wa kuona mbali na kufikia hiyo maono because he is a mighty god he is never defeated hakuna siku atashindwa god became a man na akajiita jesus he became a man akiwa na purpose na our life purpose number one. alikuwa aachilie roho mtakatifu yule alikuwa anaishi ndani yake aanze kuishi na sisi do you know that's why we are alive kwa sababu Holy Spirit ame take over our lives. Anaishi na sisi. Ndio maana kuna mambo unafaa kukataana nayo. Kuna mambo unafaa kukataana nayo na unafaa kufanya declaration ya every word yenye ima, imeandikwa in the scripture. Kama Mungu amesema we shall be healed. Una declare healing in the time you need healing. Kama unasikia utakufa, una declare long life because it is in his word na sisi ni watoto wake kama una una experience hardship una declare you are rich because hivyo ndivyo kuko katika ulimwengu wa kiroho we are not the such people we think we are we are sijui tutasema we are what i wish unaweza jiangalia ujione who you are but conditions zile tunapitia and the life we undergo through unaangalia tu hivi unasema i don't think i can make it i think this is the limit hakuna limit kwa maisha yetu haleluya si maandiko inasema enlarge your tent una enlarge kaza hizo kamba kaza hizo kamba the wider zitaenda that is where you will be haleluya si he is the same god mwenye anambia abraham as far as your eyes can see hallelujah where you are seeing yourself because in the beginning he had a good plan for you he planned you very well alikuplani vizuri na akajua you will be born a female and a male na akajua ya kwamba masaibu yako ni hii but ame decree his word akasema namna gani hata kama utapitia in the shadows of death you will not die na akaku declare again akasema you are more than a conqueror hata kama utakuwa the weakest person in the world alikuwa anakuona ukikuwa kwa front line alikuwa anakuona anakuona ukiwa a warrior anakuona ukiwa uh, sober minded anakuona ukiwa na designing spirit anakuona ukiwa a man who can make good choices mtu ambaye anaweza simama farm in fact hatukuumbwa tukuwe defeated we were created to defeat not to be defeated because mwenye ametuumba yeye hajui kushindwa ni nini haleluya so he became a man named jesus 
na akatembea akichua ya kwamba hao watu lazima nitawaokoa hao watu lazima nitawapatia power which we have received today na tumepokea mamlaka haleluya mimi nasema the, 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 the remaining year of your life yenye unaona hivi ndivyo nafaa kuwa na hivi ndivyo usitupe hiyo vision because of circumstance because of what you are going through alafu useme i don't think this is my season you are in the season uko kwa season kwa sababu uliumbwa uko kwa season kwa sababu Mungu ameachilia mapenzi yake katika maisha yako na ni vizuri the time i got saved kuna kitu nilijifundisha na si kuwa nataka hiyo kufundishwa na mtu how to believe in myself na kufikia chenye nataka haleluya hata kama nikanguo na jaribu kukafikia hata kama nikakiatu utu tu vitu tudogo tudogo twenye unaona uko na uwezo kama unaweza fikia unaweza kuwa a man or a woman of greatness unaweza enda far but you know what the enemy will come and whisper to you he will come and tell you can't you see where you have come from akuonyeshe your background sasa kwenyu kwenyu eh there was a time you may remind something and it is good to share with you kuna one day because i've been raised by a single mother by then though now she's married and ile nyumba tulikuwa tunakaa siku moja nikajiuliza juu nilikuwa tu mkubwa sasa nikiolewa watu wakienda kwetu wataona nini and that was my problem kile watu wakienda kwetu wataona but si kwa ninaangalia majira ile Mungu ameset mbele kuliko mahali nilikuwa ninaona Ndiyo no Mungu akasababisha aje nilipoolewa kile kingefanya kwetu kio, kile kionwe atakuwa nacho cha kupeleka so hata kitu ya kupeleka ndiyo huko kuonekane hakuna so tulitake like 15 years ndiyo kwetu kuonekane <laughs> haleluya but kulipoonekana yale Mungu alikuwa amepanga mbele Hakuwa ametupa hakuwa amenipangia aibu. Ambia mwenzako Mungu hajakupangia aibu. Yes, Mungu amekupangia mambo mazuri. Haleluya. Niko na shindo sasa watu wakikuja kwetu wataona nini? Unajua na ninajua hiyo ni hofu ya watu wengi. Watu wataona wazazi wangu, mimi ni wa, ni wa single mother. Watu wata, watauliza baba yangu alienda wapi maswali kama hayo but mwisho uko na Mungu na maisha yako iko na Mungu na haki yako iko na Mungu haleluya kuna na wakati nilikuwa nina grow up unajua unaweza grow, grow kwa situation yenye unaona ni kama hutawahi toka maisha hutawahi toka mabaya kila kitu ni process na ni vizuri kujikaza katika hali yote ndio maana neno linasema in the beginning god had a plan for your life for my life he had a plan and that plan cannot be taken away by anything it cannot be hindered by anything and nothing can stand in front of that plan he try to hinder what god has purposed in your life lazima uta reach lazima utafika so usikubali your brain ama shetani kama ame whisper kwa your 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 brain akakwambia you will die poor unafaa unamwambia my father who my serve his rich hallelujah we have a father we have a god huyo mwenye alikuwa na good plans for our lives na akajua ya kwamba hautakuwa defeated at the end utakuwa more than a conqueror watu watakuangalia kesho yako waseme we never expected this from you because your current 
uh, situation saa hii venye iko na ile yenye utakuwa na ile previous one the previous one will pass the current one it has speak on the faithfulness of god in your life na ninapozungumza your future is bright your current situation itakuwa nzuri yenye itasomwa unajua kuna zile readings za zamani vile watu wanakujua when jesus came and god named himself jesus watu walikuwa nasema the son of a carpenter hivyo ndivyo walimdefine but him he was so cool kwa sababu alikuwa amejua i have come to accomplish something huyu mtu lazima atapokea roho mtakatifu huyu mtu lazima atapokea power to make a good decision huyu mtu lazima atajua kujitawala huyu mtu kuna mamlaka nitampatia whoever will try to stand against the will of god concerning this man hataweza so tukapokea holy spirit of god jana nilikuwa nina share na one youth is a young youth na akani akani akaongea more about church nilikuwa mahali tu hakujua kama mimi ni pastor akasema you know watu wana criticize mungu uh, wanasema jesus changed wine uh, water into wine saa ukiambiwa hivyo unashindwa utasemaje na mimi nikamwambia usipishane na wao unawaambia correct yes he changed water into to wine but immediately they took water they came to realize the one which was for meratinas and whatever was not good but this one which came from the water yenye jesus ali transform wakakunywa so walikunywa holy spirit na waka, waka come back to their senses ya ku realize what we have been taking before was not good Hallelujah. So nikaambia huyo msichana usipishane na unawaambia correct Jesus changed water into wine but not the wine of meratinas and the beers. It is the wine of the Holy Spirit. Na ndio maana walipomuonja Roho Mtakatifu walifeel huyu alikuwa wapi kabla ya ile mlituletea na wakaanza ku realize hiyo ilikuwa mbaya. So wangeulizwa ile watakunywa wangesema wakunywe ya ya Yesu Kristo ambayo ni wokovu bwana yesu apee sifa so siku ya leo tuko na mwokozi na alizaliwa akatushindania na kuna mambo wewe ukiona katika maisha yako unasema am i really in god's plan is something is it is there anything that is working in my life alafu unasema I don't see. Unajua kuna wakati unaangalia anga maisha unaona ni kama hiyo maisha inafaa hao. Ni kama mimi haitawahi nifaa. Nani anakudanganya? We, hii maisha ni kama saa. Inaweza kimbia 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 hivi ikifika pale kwa 12. Ikue maisha imekugeukia vizuri. Eh? Uchallenge watu nayo na waanze kujiuliza what happened because ulikuwa kwa mpango wa Mungu siku ya leo because sasa tunaenda kuasha the new year 2024 ni vizuri kuambia Mungu hatujakuwa wakamilifu hatujakuwa those strong people wenye Mungu alitarajia sana kuona maisha yetu ikiendelea vile alitaka but still unaweza muambia Mungu kulingana na mipango yako na vile unaonelea hivyo ndivyo inanifaa. Naomba nisiondokanwe nayo. Naomba niandamane nayo. Naomba nikamilike katika mipango yako kwa sababu Mungu amekupangia. Mungu anakujua. Mungu ameshakuazia. In fact na akaweka jibu. Na kila time ya mtu ikifika lazima Mungu aonekane. Haleluya. Time ile nili, nilijua ama pasta now. Nilianza 
uh, kuexplore kidogo why the other men of god were begging for food because wo, iyo ndio ilikuwa my scaring ile unaona ile kitu inakuogopesha ukiwa mtu wa Mungu na uombe chakula hiyo ilikuwa inaniogopesha sana and i came to realize ni neno hatusomi david anasema i was young and i am old and i have never seen the righteous forsaken na wakiomba nini mkate barabarani Mungu huwa nini Mungu wa muaminifu sometimes we read the word of god but we don't mean it unaisoma tu unaipitia god you are ever faithful but how you can get that word in yako unasema i will never beg for bread i will never beg for my children mungu hawezi akakupatia a responsibility that you are unable to cater for hallelujah god will always be faithful to make you manage everything hallelujah but because of our poor mentality sijui ni kiroho you read the word of god na unasema that is what david said but david hayuko the word of god is telling me that since i was born and this far i have come i will never be forsaken god will not forsake me god will not forsake my children God will not forsake me when I am old. Even when I am grey, he will still be there for me. Si unaona? But tunatoka out of the word of God, tunaingia kwa our imaginations. Tunaingia kwa vile watu walisema na vile waliona. And then we forget what is written in the word of God. Na Biblia inasema in the beginning kulikuweko na neno na neno lilikuweko na Mungu. So mimi kukua hapa kama mchana huu wa leo siko hapa kwa bahati mbaya, niko hapa kwa wili ya Mungu. Uko hapa kwa wili ya Mungu. Kukua hai it is the will of God. Haleluya. Kufanikiwa ama kitu naweza kunapitia just for a moment. It is by the will of God. But Mungu anajua na unafaa uingiane uunganishe imani yako pamoja na ya Mungu uchoin faith yake na yake umwambie God what you have said concerning my life because in the beginning you said in the beginning you planned in the beginning you purposed and darkness could not hinder what you said I know I am in your plan I know you are working for better in my life. I know you are taking to where you purposed me to be. And nothing will turn you back. Nothing will pull you down. Kwa sababu ni Mungu mwaminifu. You take that word of God. Na ndio maana when we are praying. Ah, uh, it is good you teach yourself to pray using the words of God. In the beginning you are there. Before this universe was formed you are there. Ile miaka aliishi atujui but he was and because he remained the same god who was he knows you better than yourself Hallelujah wakati ulizaliwa parents walipokea a female and a male or a male child and you were named after your fathers and after your mothers after your cousins and after wale tulinemiwa after but sometimes tunasemanga because of this name ndio maana huyu wako hivi no hiyo ni jina tu kuna kitu kingine tumefanyiwa tumekuwa redeemed na tukakuwa delivered kwa nguvu za Mungu kwa hivyo siku ya leo kwa sababu God came also to redeem us but sisi wakati tunaangalia hali zetu Tunaangalia ni kama hii ndivyo inafaa kukua. Ah ah. Haleluya. Hata kama uko hapa na unataka kwenda pale, ufai kujiona ukiwa hapa, unafaa akili yako ikuwe pale mbele. Hapa umesimama na umekwama, but unaangalia pale, juu pale ndio unataka kwenda. Kwa sababu hapo mwanzo kulikuweko na neno. 
kuna maneno yako wakati ulizaliwa Yesu alizaliwa akaitwa mwana wa Mungu aliye hai na akazaliwa akiwa amepangiwa amekuja kufanya nini na wewe ulizaliwa ukiwa umepangiwa ni nini unafanya duniani nilikuwa ninaangalia mpango wa Mungu juu ya maisha yetu nikaangalia uh, a, holiday, a holiday kama hii ya Christmas nikasema it is god's will for the family to gather together to, to cheer up together and to be happy together and to be happy together after taking long year ya mateso mazuri up, up and downs mungu anapendanga people so god is not against people coming together eating together but god is all he is only against sin ati hata tukifanya hayo mambo yote tukae tukikumbuka still anatuhitaji katika maisha yetu so kama Yesu alikuwa amepangiwa why he was to be born unafikiria wewe ndio hauko kwa mpango hiyo mpango ulipangiwa ndio unafaa kupasiu ndio unafaa kukuwa na mtazamo nayo ndio unafaa kusema reason yangu kukuwa alive because there are some Ah si hata tunasemanga hatuzai. Kuna watu hawazaliwi by the way. Na sisi tunawa block tunasema hatuzai. Si ati ni sisi tunawa block. Hawako kwa mpango wa kuzaliwa. <laughs> Haleluya. Lakini wewe na mimi tumeshazaliwa. Tulizaliwa ndio nini? Tulizaliwa ndio uhangaika maisha yako yote. Tulizaliwa ndio ukae hivyo tu tulizaliwa na kusudi na Mungu ako na neno letu Mungu ako na mawazo yetu mazuri anatuazia mazuri The children of Israel wakiwa Babylon bado Mungu alikuwa anawaambia I have big plans for you to prosper you na imagine anawaambia wakiwa kwa utumwa unaweza kuwa kwa cell mahali umekejiwa mahali unasema who is to deliver me na Mungu akuje hapo venye alipata Jeremiah anamwambia call and to me and I will answer you and show you great things you don't know. So God still has a good plans for us and his good plans is to prosper us. Na kukuona ukiwa happy usifikirie ukifurahia Mungu hafurahi hata wakati umelala. Vile tu unaonanga watoto wako wakilala hakuna mtu wako na shida wako sawa wote hiyo inanipatia a, a small a small inspiration kidogo sijui kama nitaita incitement inaniambia ya kwamba venye unaona anga mtoto wako hakucheza na maji hakujipigisha baridi amelala hana mahoma unajuanga ako sawa mnalala salama haya naye hii pande mwingine ya Mungu unaenda unajipigisha madhambi Mungu anajua umelala lakini wewe ni msiki si unaona kuna kuwa na a lot of hardship hard time Mungu sasa akidili na wewe but he is still a merciful god he is still a faithful god na yeye hutaka kutuona tukilala tukiwa salama hakuna kitu kinashindana na sisi hakuna kitu kinasumbuana na sisi so Mungu anapenda amani ya mtu Mungu anapenda ukifurahia Mungu hakukulete duniani ukae a sorrowful life It's like you are helping others to move. No. Alikulete uku, u achieve the greatest achievements in your life. Sikwile utaland in heaven. Useme when I was there on earth. This is this is what God did to my life. Niliendesha kiprado. Nilikaa kwa nyumba mzuri. I was serving God. I was giving. I was helping the poor. I, I was witnessing door to door. I was telling people about Christ. But Mungu hakukulete ukuwe dormant here in earth. He has a good plan for you. The time aliita Abraham alianza na kumwambia, I have blessed you. And whoever who will bless you will be blessed. Whoever will curse you will be cursed. So unaona number one plan is for a mankind to prosper lakini kwa njia yake na kwa mapenzi yake na tukiprosper tusimsahau 
Because hii tumbo ikishimba ni mbaya. Hii ikishiba inaitishanga hata vitu wazivai kuitishwa. Naweza itisha vitu mingi sana. Inataka unashiba una eh umeshaikula kachakula mpaka unasikia raha, unasikia unaweza watch movie. Kienda ku watch movie una watch mbaya. Eh? Unasikia unaweza dance. Unaweka dombolo ingine unasema hai na hii kweli inanijenga kweli. Hii hii kweli kuna mahali tunapelekana na nikushiba. So hata wakati umeshiba control your your appetite. Control hiyo hiyo stomach is leading to sin. Mungu ametupatia sober minded and he has a big plans for us. Anajua mahali tunaenda. Anajua kesho yako. Sijui kama umesha unakuanga una na declaration ya the word of God. Una decree unasema I am not going to die poor. Can you imagine dying poor? Poor. Tunakuja kwa maombolezo yako hujiwezi mpaka huku jiweza ukiwa dunia. And take me well ninaposema hivyo. Because papa si ya Mungu sio tukue poor. But sisi tuko na poor mentality we are poor. Because hatujawahi oh God as our God in our lives. Yaani kama vile tu mtoto wako, mtoto wa tajiri ama niseme for example, mtoto wa president anaweza asimama proudly aseme ama sana my daughter of a president. But sisi hatujawahi oh God in our lives niseme the creator of the universe is my God. He is my father. I shall not lack. David knew that in his secret. Ndio maana alikuwa anasema the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack. I shall fear no evil. Do I go through the shadow of the death or whatever? He will be with me. Wakati tuta oh God in our lives. Ni tu am a daughter of Zion. I carry a kingly anointing. I have my father who has everything. Silvers and golds belongs to him. He is my father. I will never lack in his presence because he gives me what is needed one day at a time in my life wakati tuta oh god in our lives na tujue ya kwamba he created us through his own image akiwa na purpose na akiwa na good reason na ujue ya kwamba yeye ndiye baba yako na uanze kukuwa proud of him Siku hizi watu wakuangi proud of God hata wanamdeny. Na yeye ndiye ako na everything. Anasema righteousness first and the rest will follow. Walking with him, trembling, fearing him. The rest will come. You not beg for the bread. You not beg for the car. Not beg for the mashambas. Righteousness first. Na ku oh God kusema you are my king. You are my kingdom. I belong to you. I am yours, you are mine. Unamuo unamwambia you are my father. Vile tunaendanga kwa wazazi wetu, tunasema akuwe wazimu, asikuwe wazimu ni wazazi we. Akuwe na mali, asikuwe na mali ni wazazi we. Naye Mungu wetu because he is the creator of everything. Tunafaa tukiwa na yeye. Tusimchukue ni kama Mungu hivi 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 He is a dad. Kianza kuongea mbele za watu kumhusu. Ujue unaongea kuhusu Mungu ambaye hawezi chunguzika unsearchable God. Mighty God. Mimi hata sijui tunaweza muambia aje. Biblia inasema amekaa juu. He is not in one level with the creation zenye aliumba. He is above them. So he is a mighty God. He cares about us. And he knows what we need even before we ask. Anajua 2024 kile imebeba ya maisha yako. Sisi tunafaa tu kujijoin kwa wili yake tunasema in your will. Saa hii tumegojea kusikiliza the prophetic word. Na tunatakanga kusikia atawape magari. So saa magari na God, Mungu ni zaidi ya hizo vitu. Kama yeye tunaweza muo 
Today nilikuwa na preachia my son nikamwambia kutatokea watu kama prophet Elijah. Elijah alikuwa anaonea Mungu wivu, mkiabudu miungu mingine anasema hakutanyesha. He's a, him alone anakuwa separated. Na nchi inaingia njaa. Because of serving God uh, he, himself serving God. Mungu anamulisha tu. Alafu Mungu anajua kile Elijah anaogopa sana ni mauti. Anajua na wewe utakuja kuionja. Umekimbia sana. His ministry he was ever alone. Ever alone. But he stood na nikaambia my son tukienda mbinguni mtashangaa sana because you think of a large large cloud but utashangaa sana the man one man you brought to Christ akifanya ukue crown ukiwa na crown siku ya leo we have god na ninataka ujue ya kwamba kuna god's plan hiyo ndio nataka uweke kwa your heart mungu najua umenipangia mema mungu najua unaniwazia mema Mungu najua unanipenda. Mungu najua una, utaniinua. Mungu najua utanitakasa. Na mahali unaenda usiingie na hofu. Usiingie na hofu. Niko naogopa sana ku age. <laughs> Siko nataka kusikia miaka ikifika dhati. Na ninajua wale wakosai wa wanaenda ma 25 wanaogopa. Eh, tumezeeka mtu anaanza kukwambia haya, umefikisha hiyo umezeeka um, but nikakuja kujua ikishafika hakuna kitu unaifanya hapo ndipo unasimamanga unaambia god renew my strength renew my strength renew how i used to pray renew me lord kwa sababu kuna mambo at the age of 20 you cannot do when you are in the age of 40s hallelujah but god can renew you god can youth you siku ya leo tuko katika mpango ya Mungu what are you seeing in the year that you are about to welcome in your life what are you seeing ni uki, uki jump over <laughs> unaona uki jump over ama uki, uki jump over and then you ushike zile vitu Mungu ameachilia na unajua vile Mungu atakuja unamwaccept hivyo Unamwaccept hivyo kwa sababu he has a big plan. Hata saa hii tutajidanganya tukiingia 2024 na mawazo yetu na maombi yetu na mambo yetu but the real word of God tukatae yenye imebeba package ya kutuonyesha mahali tunaenda. So because you are in God's plan and his plan was to save you and to set you free sin si lazima ikuwe yale mambo unafanyanga hata kushindwa kuamini neno la Mungu hiyo ni sin because umeumbwa through his own image na yeye ana believe mambo ni possible but wewe huamini ni possible sasa wewe uko wapi siku ya leo nataka uinuke kwa mguu wako He came to redeem us. He came to save us. He came to set us free. He came so that we could receive the power to make our wise decisions. He came because he loves us. Hata akiwa juu sana akasema watu nitawakaribia. They are beautiful, they are fearfully, they are wonderfully made akasema ya kwamba tutapokea authority akatupatia power ya kuweka adui chini ya nyayoni zetu we can command him to be quiet na nyamaze kama kuna ka spirit ndani yako kenye kana kuonyesha you are worthless pull it down kama kuna ka spirit kana kwambia you are good for nothing delete it from the tablet of your heart kama kuna ka any thought negative 
thought in your thoughts yenye inakwambia even if you try hard you never be it must be deleted today in your life allow god to lead you allow god to prosper you with his power with his mighty allow god in your life allow god in your life individual prayer is a powerful prayer because wakati unaenda mbele za bwana you are talking to your father you are transparent to your father you know what you want from your father go to your father umwambie this is me i have very little faith i have this belief spirit but from now i want to believe in you join your faith with his he is waiting for you at the door whoever knocks he opens he is waiting for you to call he will answer you his will will be done in your life yeye ni mwaminifu enda tu mbele zake mwambie god i know you mind about me i know you care about me you know where i am and where i am going shame will not speak at my gates but your favor will continually be upon my life uende tu mbele za bwana mwambie i know you love me with a constant love i know you care about me i know you values me much i know i am important in your presence yeye ni mwaminifu yeye ni mtetezi yeye ni kimbilio yeye ni kimbilio enda tu mbele zake yeye ni jemedari wa maisha yako na mkombozi is the driver of your life he knows how to conduct you he has your divine the divine direction ameitengeneza for you to go through it ndio uweze kufanikiwa he has your word mapenzi yako bwana yatimilike katika maisha yetu mapenzi yako bwana yaonekane katika maisha yetu tumenogonezewa uongo na shetani na tukaambiwa mambo ambayo sisi hatuko lakini wewe bwana ulituumba na ukatukomboa na ukatuweka huru tuungamana pamoja na wewe na imani yetu tuaiweka pamoja nawe na tuwaomba uwepo wako bwana utuongoze na tunajua bwana hizi siku zimesalia tuone mwaka unaokuja kusudi lako bwana bado halijazuiliwa na jambo lolote kwa sababu tuko katika mpangilio wako tuko katika njia zako na tuko katika mapenzi yako bwana na ndio maana tunakuita Mungu wetu ndio maana tunakuita baba wetu usituache na usitupungukie tuongoze kwa haki ya mapenzi yako tuongoze kwa njia zako za haki na katika neema yako bwana pokea sifa bwana pokea utukufu asante kwa sababu umetuokoa kutoka kwa mabaya yote umetuongoza kwa haki yako bwana tuko hai tulipokumbwa na magonjo tulipokumbwa na maafa lakini wewe bwana ukatuinua kiwango na ukatutia nguvu pokea utukufu hata mahali tunaenda utatuongoza na amani utatuongoza na furaha utatuongoza na mapenzi yako bwana hatutapotelea hapa duniani na tukose kufikiana na malengo na mapenzi yako yale bwana umepanga tutayaona na hakuna kitu kitazuia sisi kufikiana na malengo na mapenzi yako tunakuinua bwana na tunasema ni asante kwa sababu unatupenda umesema hapo mwanzo ulikuweko na ulikuweko na neno oh bwana na neno lilikuwa ndani yako na wala giza halikuzuilia neno lako kufanikiwa kulingana na mawazo yako asante kwa sababu umetuweka katika vitanga za mikono yako na tuko katika mawazo yako na tunajua mwaka huu mwingine tunaenda kuingia tutaingia katika malangoni mwako tukiwa na shukurani kwa yale 
Bwana unaenda kutenda katika maisha yetu. Tuangazie na nuru ya uso wako. Toomba Bwana kukamilika mikononi mwako. Toomba Bwana uwezo wako. Katika msimu huu tuko Bwana wa Krismasi. Twajichovia na kujifunika kwa damu ya Yesu. Twaomba kufichwa kwako Bwana mahali adui hawezi akatuona. Na yale Bwana unataka isonge na sisi isizuiliwe. Bwana mtakatifu, twaomba mkono wako hodari uonyeshe juu yetu na utuongoze. Tuokoe kutoka kwa maajali, kwa fitina za yule muovu, kwa magonjwa, kwa vita. Kichochote tunaweza kuwa tumeandikiwa, twakilete chini ya nyayoni zetu na twaomba uhuru wetu ulio katika neno lako ya kwamba sisi ni watoto wako wa kike na wa kiume na wewe ni baba yetu mili yetu ni hekalo lako mahali unakaa na majina yetu yameandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima wa milele sisi ni wako kile cha kupagawa maisha yetu haijaruhusiwa ndani lakini roho mtakatifu tembea sasa na uonekane Asante Bwana tunakupenda. Asante Bwana wewe ni Mungu. Pokea sifa. Pokea utukufu. Baba tunakubariki. Asante na inua wapendo hawa wote mikononi mwako. Ya kwamba utasonga pamoja na wao. Utawaonea huruma na neema yako itatosha. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini. Amen, amen, amen. Mungu awabariki, awabariki sana. Awainue na neema ya Mungu iwatoshe. Mkuwe na siku kuu ya fanaka, ya baraka, mulindwe mnapotoka na mnaporudi. Damu ya Yesu ikue kwa manyumba zenu, ikue kwa magari mnamo safiria ikuwe pamoja nanyi na mnapendwa na Mungu. Mungu awabariki sana na awainue amani ya Mungu. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen.